He was known as the man who opened up the Soviet Union to the world. Mikhail Gorbachev, a world leader who was widely respected outside of Russia, but loathed by some of his own countrymen, died in Moscow on August 30th at the age of 91. Gorbachev was credited with ending the Cold War, which changed the course of modern history. Who was Mikhail Gorbachev and why was he regarded as one of the most influential figures of the 20th century? Mikhail Gorbachev was born into a peasant family in Russia's southern Stavropol region. He grew up in the hardships of World War II and the repressive rule of dictator Joseph Stalin. He studied law at Moscow State University and joined a youth political organization called the Komosomol. In 1979, he became the youngest member of the Politburo. Later in 1985, he took power and introduced reforms, very unlike the leaders before him. He initiated reforms called Glasnost and Perestroika to make the Soviet Union more democratic. With Perestroika, Gorbachev decentralized decision-making to improve the economy. And with Glasnost, he aimed for free media and freedom of information. His foreign policy choices sent shockwaves across the world. He defused the US-Soviet nuclear standoff with a series of disarmament agreements, withdrew Soviet troops from Afghanistan by the end of the 1980s, and loosened the reins on the leadership of Moscow's Eastern European satellite countries. In 1989, Eastern European countries threw out their communist governments and the Berlin Wall was torn down. And in 1990, Gorbachev was elected the first and final president of the Soviet Union. He had to survive a coup in 1991, after which Boris Yeltsin banned communist activity in Russia. On the same day after Gorbachev's resignation, the Soviet Union ceased to exist. In 1990, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. However, Gorbachev saw his legacy wrecked late in life, now with Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the severe sanctions on Moscow by the West.